Hello, this is an assessment of a Broadwood upright piano, 117 centimetres tall, made in about 1915. And uh, it's a green frame Broadwood, which is in the trade, I think you'll agree with me if you're a piano tuner, rated highly. It's one of the best designed uprights of its era, really, in 1915, especially English pianos anyway. Definitely um, something which I really enjoy listening to. The casework seems to be oak and um, has been obviously also gone over, repolished, as it would be a lighter oak, I would have thought originally. Um, not quite sure about the casework, whether this is all original, because the Broadwood is actually stenciled on. So if you're in the trade and have a few thoughts about it, that would be very useful to know. I'm not too good on casework, really. Uh, but the mechanics of the piano certainly is a lot to say that would improve it. Uh, very low pedals. Um, 4.5 I think from the floor, you talked about pedals very often, broadwoods can be very low, um, that's really useful because it means if you put, you, you've got more legroom, but you've got loads of legroom anyway, I think this is about 64, so normally 61 and a half, so if you're tall, this is an excellent piano, though the piano is a small piano, you've got plenty of legroom, don't need to worry about putting caster cups under to, to improve the height, uh, that's good news, keys helps are obviously being cut come off and stuck back on you can tell by this very strong line here um, so that's something um, if it was a stock piano for us to sell we'd, we'd replace these because it'd be impossible to get them looking good um, one of them ha was off when I arrived as just temporarily stuck it on with impact adhesive but um, obviously they need to be stuck properly and I haven't got the tools for that you need to clamp them really and um, then try and get rid of this line here but uh, you can see here where they haven't been come haven't come off and where they have so that's something to think about what you'd like done doesn't feel too nice having that that uh, sort of slightly raised bit there so that's definitely something i would like to do they're also extremely wobbly which is one of the main regulation jobs actually the first plenty of felt there you just need to turn the cricket bat a little bit take up the slack so underneath the key we see this felt here, that's been replaced at some stage and if we look at that shape of that little pin there, it's actually cricket bat shaped and with a cricket bat adjuster, which I don't have on me unfortunately, we can just turn it slightly and that takes up the slack. The key dip is also too great really, at over 11 millimetres, 11 will be the maximum, normal maximum um, and the sharps are quite low actually, uh, they should be raised up and then the, because at the moment they're disappearing below the the naturals so that they should be higher up and then they could have enough dip to make them work properly the action seems to be quite well regulated and someone's obviously changed the tapes here they're very good quality tapes they put on there's quite a lot of mildew here i think the piano's got damp at some stage so um you can see mildew at the bottom at the bottom of the piano too interesting it has this uh, these plaques here ecolamite and I thought they probably were cedar wood and looked them up on the internet, indeed they are. Um, that's obviously to uh, deter moths from coming and there's no moth in the piano so maybe that's why there isn't. Uh, Lavender is another way of deterring them. Uh, if you're in the trade again that would be useful if you use cedar wood and I haven't seen those before. Uh, looking at the hammers we can see that there's been a reasonable amount of wear. Um, so let's listen to the tone of them. That's a beautiful sweet sound, the Broadwood Green Frame Piano. In fact, the tone's not too bad. You, I don't think they need replacing. There's plenty of felt left. They could be refaced. There's one or two like this one here that's going to be a bit softer, a bit varied. This is, that one's been hitting too far on one side, as you can see. So there's work to do. I think refacing the hammers and then evening out the tone. at the break point there but but a very pleasant bass for the height of the piano so these are affectionately known as green frame broadwoods um, seem to be a series they did that was very successful and certainly in the trade I think we think highly of them and this is a, one of the top well-known English makes probably the most well-known in terms of being innovative the dampers aren't really lifting off far enough and there's a slight noise too. The pedal needs adjusting. 
Now there's the pedal system and just adjusting this screw will um, give us uh, lift the dampers off further and there's too much slack really there's plenty of slack before it does anything I was going to adjust it it's actually very seized up um, seem to have bonded to the metal here so um, that's obviously requiring it's got tool, tools I haven't got have come out to do the assessment so I should have brought some tools for that too but uh, so there's lots of slack to take up there and you see the mildew on here and um, somebody's decided to put a bowl of water in here at some stage and that's completely dried out the trouble is it always dries out if you're trying to mu to uh, uh, humidify the piano so the soundboard doesn't crack which is often what's done um, really it's uh, not the best idea because you forget about it and uh, I'm not sure even sure if it's a good idea anyway better to humidify the room or make sure the room's at the right humidity I think um, so the soundboard doesn't crack at all anyway so that's encouraging though soundboard cracks don't really affect the tone they they show that the piano has been drying drying out the, the hammers are also got some moisture in them they're not coming back properly and I th think all of them really could do lubricating you notice it mostly at the top end here where they're lighter and uh, not coming back at all well in terms of regulation I noticed that the let off is quite varied so you've got this is two notes next to each other this is E and F and you see that E is hammer is traveling further on E this is without me regulating it at all and F is coming back quick earlier so if we play them very gently you can hear that's the E. You can hear the E as I'm pressing both of them at the same force on both of the keys there. I'm just pressing them both down and you can hear the E but you can't hear the F. So you can play more sensitively basically when, when the let off is closer. So that's something we can eat certainly even out and we'll get basically more control for softer playing. Well, the piano has a very satisfying tone and the cameras could probably be improved with refacing but I think the main work is on the keyboard here uh, regulating the sharps the, the too low and the feels feels unusual and certainly if you want to practice on the piano um, uh, for concerts uh, or sorry for studying for exams then uh, you're going to need a bit much more even weight than this 32 is too low really and if you then play on a, a exams on the concert grand uh, it gives you disadvantage if you've been practicing on this but if this is well regulated um, and uh, the work's been done to improve that and the, the ivories are not good either then if that's all done then there's no reason why you should buy a new piano this would be a beautiful tone and very satisfactory touch so that's the green frame broadwood upright piano made in about 1915 117 centimeters tall and the underlying tone is superb if you're learning the piano and you've got an old piano like this and it's it's a well-respected make then there's no reason why you should change it for a new one um, it needs working on it needs regulating the keys are particularly unsatisfactory to play the sharps are too low, the, the, there's lots of stickiness in the action, the hammers. So there's a lot of work to do really to get it like a new piano, but possibly very possible to do. We're always trying to achieve the same touch and, uh, as a new piano would have, and therefore we don't need to change the piano for a new one. So I would really recommend this piano. of the piano it has one of the best tones of any piano. Broad was such a well-made, a well-respected firm and a great designer of pianos. Doesn't mean that all Broadwood pianos are, are, are good pianos. They a huge variety, a huge experimentation that Broadwood had. But certainly the green frame Broadwood is something that I think all the trade respects a lot. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have an, a piano that uh, you believe is a very good piano and needs regulating, uh, then please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com.
very hard to control to demonstrate the piano, but I hope you get some idea of the underlying tone. <laughs> 